Good morning. It is about half past eight on Sunday the 9th. Hmm, is it the 9th? The Villa View are doing something very special today and it's time to take you along on our journey. I'm off to go and pick Dan Rollinson, our cameraman up now, and I'm heading to Villa Park and then we'll meet up with Dan Bardell and then see what happens. Morning, it's about 10 past nine. Not many things I get up at this time on a Sunday for, but the chance to play at Bodymore Heath and be one of the first people to wear the new Villa kit. I thought I'd probably get up for that, so thanks to Unibet and Villa for getting the Villa view involved. So Matt's traveling down separately with Dan Rollinson in his funny little car. I can't remember what car Matt's got and on with my crew, my dad and John Inslee, friend of the Villa View. Don't really know what to expect today other than I know it's a five-a-side tournament and I know there's some celebrity Villa fans and some ex-Villa legends involved, which obviously exciting for the chance to play with some of my Villa heroes. My mum was more excited about the guy from Coronation Street that's going to be there. The only instruction she's given me today is make sure you have a photo with that sexy man from Coronation Street, so I'd have to make sure that I do that. They say that games are won and lost on the smallest aspects of the game, right? So for breakfast today, I've gone healthy, but then I've gone for the athlete's choice of breakfast, and that is chocolate croissants. Yes, full of plenty of oozing chocolate. It's the perfect breakfast for an athlete on game day, alongside obviously some fruit and veg, you know, just to try and make it a bit healthier. Me and Matt are actually on different teams which is good because if anyone who saw our game at Villa Park probably don't really want to be on his team especially if things go down to a penalty shootout. I'm leaning towards maybe going in goal at the moment because I'm quite handy. Well I think I'm quite handy in goal. I was out last night so and fitness is a problem in general anyway and it, there's eight aside but it's actually a five aside so there's eight in the squad so I actually think if I go in goal I might get more game time because no one else will want to go in goal so that's my plan we're about 15 minutes away from Villa Park and then we're getting the coach down to Bodymore with Unibet and all the other people that are there so stay tuned so because of my absolute genius navigation skills we're only five minutes from actually being late and missing the coach to Bodymore it could be a slight problem but Dan's message going the coach engine is running Cheers, that really helped, but hopefully we can make it. It says two minutes on here, but God knows at the moment. If we get there, we get there. If not, I might have to go straight to Bodymore. I was Dan's representing Villa View. Um, just about made it. Um, we've been about two minutes, but <laughs> we're here. And Dan's moaning at us already. Happy day. Two minutes uh, until uh, meant to be getting on here, and we made it, and he's moaning. Normal day. Not moaning, concerned. He's, as usual, preparing himself to fail. <laughs> What, that's what Matt Lynch does. So on my team I've got the Oliver Phelps from Harry Potter which is like childhood dreams just there and then Matt Kendrick from Birmingham as well, myself and then a few others as well. So you know mixed bag but hopefully we can get the results. Know that playing with Matt Kendrick was not a childhood dream of, of Matt Lynch's. My mum's going to be absolutely delighted because I'm with the guy from Corrie whose name is Mark Bayliss. I was say his name escapes me but I remember this song with him. So yeah, my mum will be as a violin section for the days to have a photo with him. So forget anyone from Villa that might be there to talk about the Corrie guy. What if the like, people on, the, on your team have seen your penalty and they're like, no Matt, absolutely not. We don't want you to take a penalty. You still take it? Well, it depends what they say to team game, isn't it? There's no one in team, so if they don't want me to take a penalty, then I won't take a penalty. But I'd say I've got the balls and I'm going to score it as well. <laughs> and you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you should not have said that at the end. These kind of things, my main aim is you just don't want to make it out yourself. That's, that's, that's always the main objective for me, and then secondary to that is let's let's win. I drew, we drew it in Villa Park. Sorry, mate, so you're you're not, we drew it. I want a penalty. No I want a penalty. It's a win. You'll go down in the record books as a it's win to nice. Team Dan. So hopefully there'll be enough to win for Team Dan today. <laughs> Team one. Yeah. Home kit. What are your thoughts? Um, really nice. Quite. 
tight fitting. Um, it's a good job I'm not carrying too much of a belly just yet. Um, might have a few problems else. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> the, short, <laughs> the shorts are interestingly tight, but really nice quality to it, so looking forward to it. I'm normally a traditionalist, but these are interesting, to say the least. Nice, bright. They'll see me coming anyway when I'm pacing past Dan Bardell. <laughs> yep. I picture of you as a, as a black boots kind of guy. I normally am, normally a traditionalist, but these are something else and definitely made for somebody that's going to pace past a few players and score some. So, do you know anyone who's, who's got that? <laughs> Away shirt, looks swish, looks nice. Looking forward to wearing it. One question I've got for you. Yeah. Boots. Cheers, man. Oh, you have to be a good player to wear boots like these, which is obviously a problem for me. Yeah. But at least everyone else is in the same. But oh, actually, they're not. They're all slightly different. These boots are different to mine. things that we've done for the Villa View so again just great that the club invite us down and get us involved we'll be forever grateful for how they've treated us it's just mad that I'm going to be playing on the same pitches like Petra, Hesca, Dublin people that I've, I've watched growing up. He's one of my first heroes yeah. like when I first started to like football like he's one of the first players I've ever sort of like watched and gone wow this this guy can play and that's the moment it clicks but this is why I'm just well, he's one of those original guys so I'm so happy to be able to play alongside such a villa legend in Dale Dublin. Team 1 v Team 2 you both got your uh, ex-pro now. Yeah both Thoughts? got the big men up, got, both got the big men up front. Yeah need the target man yeah. I think that I've already got an amateur jibe in though so it could heard, be interesting to see that um, how that one plays out if I don't score then there's pressure I think. Why don't you bring some of that humour when we do the, do the Villa View? I think I'll probably go in goal I think, just to... I don't think Dion's going to be reliving really his helicon days in defence I think he will be up front. Oh you did great work! <laughs> Blowing done. No, I'm, right. I'm, a fit, I'm a fit lad, right? As you know, <laughs> <laughs> concentrate on my diet. I can't feed myself. Don't feed me. Feed the house, get him to school. Yeah, yeah, Come and go up front, that and I'll play in behind. Okay, who's going to play? Who's going to play? Try and get off to a good start. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have thought a clean shirt would be incoming. But no. I've changed. I was going to get one. Quick question. Where, where, which goal were you? Receiving what bottles of water off Emileska and everything that had happened. Because I've probably been in the top three moments of my football career and it's, it's been a limited career, there's yeah. not much has gone on. But yeah, good moment. Almost every year. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> to be fair, your, your football career is so small. Cheers, that's almost that's everything true. is a top moment. Sure. Yeah, that's true. I reckon uh, you're here sporting Villa today. <laughs> well, I thought I'd have to support some team in Clarence Blue. No, I know on Dublin very well, Dean Saunders, Emil Heskey and Stan Petros, so come out have a chat with them and see how they, see if they haven't lost it. And how have they been doing so far, the pros? Well, Dean over there is, um, is sitting there right back, Stan Petrov is getting very annoyed and on this pitch Dion and Emil seem to be having a really, uh, a really good fun time. And the thing is the pros never lose it, they just get a bit slower and a bit more competitive and they lose their temper a little bit more when it, when it goes wrong and they can't do what they used to or to do, but no, it's great fun. Oh. Back to the goalkeeper. Oh. oh, the rules. He does not know the rules. He's been called back. 
That is illegal. You I knew the rules. Oh, and the Matt Lynch is a mistake. It's cost them a goal. I knew Would the rules. Would you believe it? Was that a first touch or was it, it a layoff? It was a first touch as such, but it was also a layoff. Beautiful. Lynch oh, is in. What a save! What a save from the big goalkeeper. Oh, disbelief. And it's a goal had... kick. A double whammy for Lynch. What's your tactics for the second half? Like Route one, knock it up to me. Just knock try, it down try. to Matt. Someone. You score goals, yeah. You score goals, it makes a massive difference in the game. Just get our shots up and right out. They're after one goal. As soon as we get the one, the rest will follow. Wait for this. Good bit of defending. Solid defending. The game, Cautious the, play. The, the game's over, mate. It's no good making positive contributions at this stage. You've lost the game. 4 0, comfortable. I mean, Matt, actually, to be fair, he did all right. He had a couple of iffy moments, which I really enjoyed, and obviously. Through one on one twice, his eyes lit up, but he wasn't prepared for big push Michael coming out and making making the save. So enjoy, enjoyable for me to get one over him again. I hope he wins. I hope he wins the uh, third and fourth place playoff because he deserves to win something. But this is this, this final now is for the for the big big hitters. What did you make of uh, Esky and, and Dublin? Oh, they've not lost it, have they? They've still got such a class amongst them. I saw it the way Dion brought them the ball from my corner, unreal skill. Esky with his finishing as well. <laughs> People said he can't finish, but boy, he can finish, Christ. Some of those shots have finished today. away today. Yeah, you really can finish. But hopefully Hesk will get us, uh, get us organised again. He was good, quite good at cajoling us. I enjoy, enjoy playing with him, actually. He's obviously, he's a massive, massive presence and done everything on the on the world stage. So it's an honour to play with him. It's an honour to be here and play. Is Matt good? Did you speak to him? Yeah, I spoke to him. Is he upset? Yeah, he's all right. The he didn't say much to me after the game. Naturally disappointed, I'd Naturally say. disappointed. I feel for him, but hopefully he'll win the third and fourth place playoff. He's coming up against a, a fierce competitor. I could hear Stylian Petrov from over here. Obviously, there was a lot of times where I didn't have much to do, so I was having a glance over that game, and he was he was not happy with what was unfolding around him. We've seen the highlights. We've seen the match action. Let's cut live to the winner's ceremony. Let's do it. Sorry. Nah, I'll be alright for Allah. I'm going to get Lynch to sign. <laughs> see you again. Yeah, see you, okay? Have a quick photo, is that right? Yeah, yeah, of course. We run over there. Yeah, sometimes when you've had a tough day at work and you go down and you've got to go on Skype and do some stuff. I mean, to be honest, it's a privilege to do it anyway. It's a privilege that so many people tune in to watch and listen to what Matt and I have to say because, to be honest, off, it can't be that exciting all the time. But then we get to come here and do stuff like this as like a reward for doing it. So I just thank the people that watch our stuff because without them doing it, then we wouldn't be here today and it's great for us to have this experience and hopefully we'll get even more experiences in the future and hopefully we'll be able to get subscribers involved a bit more as well because doing stuff like this as a, as a Villa fan like, is an unbelievable experience and I can't thank the club enough and Unibet today for getting us involved. I'm just saying like, you put the graft in on these like, couple of hours filming these videos on a night where you, know, you get a thousand views or whatever yeah. and you're doing that because it means up to days like today. It's weird, it's a bit surreal to be honest that this is their year and a half I'm very thankful for anyone that's ever watched the video because if they then we wouldn't be able to provide this content for people and just genuinely so surprising that we've ever managed this so it's just amazing so thank you to anyone that's ever supported the channel because you've made this happen so. you've got one over me again um victory for your side with emil heskey leading the side very good meanwhile we finished fourth which i mean wasn't bad did you take any responsibility for your fourth place finish was it anything um, to do yeah i didn't see no. you you were involved to be fair you were heavily involved in our game, I thought. Yeah, you denied me twice. Two good yeah. saves, in fairness. Yeah. Um, got my goal in the end, but did it doesn't matter. It was defeat. At least um, you can say you scored. Yeah, I can say I scored, but a bit gutted that defeat was still the end result. But I must admit, it's just been a class day. Again, up there with the Villa Park day, and yeah. the club just really look after us and let us do some really cool stuff. And Unibet now look like there. That's one thing that's come from today, actually. Unibet seem like a proper sponsor, a sponsor that want to get involved. They want to get things going with the fans so that's, that's really positive because to be honest you think about the last few sponsors we've had I don't remember there being any engagement at all no. whereas straight away Unibet have come in here today and they've put the game for fans and legends and that, yeah. that's top class they don't have to do that they've yeah, it's good PR for them, but it's a good thing for them too, a nice thing, and all the people here today will appreciate it. Yeah, just thank you to Unibet and Aston Villa for inviting us down today with all the other fans and some absolute legends and some famous faces along the way as well. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. 
If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another one? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on our logo there on the left and press subscribe. Easy.